Oh, that was the action cam going off. Right, folks. Hi there. Um, I'm at my parents' house today, as you can see. There's my mum there and my dad trying to point in the right direction there. And the reason we're here is because I've got a big box to open. One of the things that uh, my parents used to enjoy at Christmas time was watching our faces when we opened Christmas presents. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> this is kind of revenge, you know. So I'm doing a, a slightly unbox a different unboxing video. So this thing isn't for them. So as much as they had their hopes up that they might be getting a free present, not the case. It's actually something for camping. And actually, if you've read the title of this, you'll know what it is anyway. But I uh, thought I'd just do a different unboxing video using my parents' reactions to what comes out of the box as um, as a point of interest. <laughs> Not a shock. Well, could be the case. <laughs> anyway, moving onwards. Here we go. <laughs> Let's get it. <laughs> it's giggling already. <laughs> this is why I thought it'd be fun. Now, is there any clues on there for you? On the box, from what's written on the box, as to what might be in here. You know, well, I'm going. It says viper. Viper, yeah, it does. Yeah. yeah. A box of snakes. Spearo. Yeah. Could be a box of spears. Yeah. Could uh, be Jack Pike wrestling a wrestling ring. Was it? Was it? Was that a wrestler? Jack Pike was a wrestler. Yeah. Right. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Webtex. So no clues from there, is there? Yeah. yeah. So what's in this box? Webtex. It could be a text to web netting. I do like this sound. You know that sound of tape, <laughs> right Yeah. I think it's great. That's like when you get it to me. One of the good things is they've, uh, they've wrapped it up well because it was delivered by a courier yesterday. Yeah. Did you bring that with you then? Yeah. Yeah, it came just before I, uh, as I got home from work. It was it was being delivered to the hairdressers, so um, I picked it up, dropped it in the in the hallway, and then when I came out, I thought I'm going to take that to mum and dad. Yeah. And you know, it's it's really 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 yeah. See the expression when you're. Open. No time to go to the. Oh. Not now. Yeah. Your timing's impeccable, and you just said that on camera. Well done. <laughs> okay, so. In the box, we've got a big box with a lot of empty space in it. There is a lot of empty space. Right, we've got a bag. Canvas tent. What does it say? Canvas tent. Shop. Co.uk. Okay, so that's a, a shop out there. Canvas tent shop. So we've got a canvas tent bag. And a bit with a tent. <laughs> if it weighs that much. Wouldn't be a great tent. Pop that over there. Look at that. Can you see what it is yet? Bushcraft, silver gem stove. Some sort of eater. Oh, go okay. Nice. Oh. Oh, I like the look. All this extra weight you've got to carry to your tent. Yeah, well, this is going to be more for a camping Ooh, trip wow. around Scotland. We're going to yeah. do predominantly in the car and in a bit colder climate, so you avoid the midget, uh, midgets. Oh, yeah. Midgets. Midgets. Yeah. <laughs> well, then, does somebody go with you? Uh, with Nat, because she's wanted to do Scotland for quite some time. And no, we'll so talk about it. Then. Yeah, yeah me and Nat will do it. Oh, just you and that? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that'd be nice, yeah. We've talked about doing it for quite some time. Oh, she wants to go around Scotland, does she? Yeah, she does. Oh, that'd be good. Yeah. Ah. So, it's got these side things, which you can use for either hanging utensils yeah. on. Yeah. Oh, one of the things I did think about might be useful for is, uh, you know, if your clothes get a bit wet or damp, you know, when this is on, you can dry them out. Because the whole idea of this, Mum, in case you're not sure, well, I'll set it up. And then you'll see. Is it gas driven or is it? No. No, definitely not gas. It's wood driven. Wood driven, oh. So, right on here, there are some little clips. I think these just clip off, that's it. So, undo the leg. Yeah. If you find out what you're doing, RFI. 
<laughs> I'm going to have to bleep that out, you do know. Okay. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, my father. <laughs> well, that's just probably how I got it. Right. I swear on telly so I can swear in my living room. Well, you can swear in your living room because it's your living room. Oh, hang on. No, actually, it makes sense. That makes more sense, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Have a clip. Have you got it in your own way? You need a clip. Yeah. I just didn't put it in the right place. No, so that's, it's where, left. that's where I, I, I call it in <laughs> Yes. That's how I found it. I just told you. Yes, yeah, so it's swearing, so we're not going to go through it again. Let's read the flipping instructions. That's oh, Actually, these do work quite well. So they just pop off here. Yeah. Drop down. Pop that in there. And clip it on. And clip it on. Yeah, it's good, yeah. And then you've got four legs. Yeah. Right? Do yeah. these stay in that position? They don't open up like these. Those are real wide legs. And these are narrow. Yeah. yeah. Right, so that's that's a vent. I'm not sure we can get this on camera. So that's a vent to, to control the airflow. Oh, yeah. That's right. the door. No, there isn't. There should be, if I'm not mistaken, in here, a glass panel. which slots in here, which you have to fit yourself. And I'm assuming they do it that way so, to avoid risking yeah. it breaking in transit, okay? And then you've got the, uh, the stove pipe. So that's going, you can work out what that is, can't you? Yeah, that's the flow of the chimney. Which, which, which part's that? Chimney. The cowl kind of aspect, isn't it? The, you know, what would be like yeah. to stop sparks yeah. from flying out. Spark arrestor, I think they call it. Oh, yeah. Good design, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Look at it's a bloody tail chimney. It is. And it's done. Yeah. And why is it done that way? Why has it got a tall chimney in a tent? Why? Why would you want a tall chimney in a tent? So you don't get fumes into the tent. So you don't get fumes into the tent and you don't get sparks as well, so you know, to keep the uh, to keep everything away. It's supposed to be safe to use in a tent. Yeah. Oh. No, they are. That's what the whole idea of these is. Then you've got a... Yeah. Right, now th what this is for is so that you put your wood On top of there, and then the air can flow underneath. Oh, yeah. So you get good airflow. Hence the position of the uh, oh, of the yeah. vent. So let's put the, uh, the glass panel in. <laughs> and I'm assuming. Well, it should be quite strong because it'll be tempered glass. It will be tempered glass. Yeah. You have to loosen them up for you to slot it in. Yeah, they're just little 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 nuts. Yeah. Just have to take one side up for loosening one side. Yeah, just. A, oh, actually, yeah, just one side. Yeah. Just one side. I might need to loosen the other side. Just, just to slot it in. Need to take that off, really, should I? Good yeah, you, 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 what, it won't, it won't give you room to slot it in. I think it will. Yeah. Does it? Yeah, there's room oh, to good. go behind. Just need to... What I will need to do is take this off before I pack yeah. it back up and then put it on tighter. Yeah. At home with a proper... Don't put it on too tight, just screw off finger tight because with the, the expansion with the heat, well, it's not going to light it. No, but when you just light it. Yeah. Not too loud for expansion. But they go on easy, easy enough. Yeah. Might be a good idea to take that off every time. But yeah, so yeah. But it's nice, isn't it? Because like, what you'll have in your tent is a little... What's uh, it? It wants to be a long way. Not it's it. not that way at all. No, that's right. It's just... Uh, oh. it, it locks behind the door here. Oh, I see. That's it. Just keep the door lock. Airflow. Quite like that. Mm. Your rig, your Ashley's rig. That's it. So I don't know. Didn't you any destruction with them to tell it? They're the other way around. Yeah, the other way around. No. no, no. It, Pretty tight fit. 
you have to push it right down to make sure it's secure. That's it. Oh, yeah, that's it. Good job. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's going to get it in your own. Look at her, go, you're right. Yeah, when it's in the tent, yeah. The tent comes yeah. up to about this high. It uh, goes out through the tent, does it? So it goes out through, yeah, through uh, a jack. You put a, a, there's a special flap in the tent, is there? There is, yeah, with a silicon. Silicon shave sort of thing. Well, it's a silicon jack. Uh, they call it a silicon jack, and basically it's a, it's a hole. In a piece see your own to stop rain coming in. In a piece of silicon. Well, it won't matter so much, will it? No. Because yeah. if it lands on here, it's just going to go. Pfft. Any rain that hits this or comes close yeah. to it, it's just going to yeah. pssst, pssst. Oh, it's going to piss down. <laughs> but yeah, and then obviously that goes in yeah. the top. I think, that, you know, this is yeah. going to be, this is a good lesson learned. This is the way you're going to have to put the top piece in, because I'm not going to reach it, am I? Yeah. No, I oh, know. No, you might have to just put the next yeah. piece as well. Yeah. So if you're stretching. Yeah, so stretching. yeah you know, what will probably happen is put so much of it in, inside the tent and the other piece in outside. Mm. Yeah, that's... Mm. Quite nice, isn't it? What do you think? <laughs> and then, you see, once you've kind of got this all heated up, you've got a cooking surface. Yeah. So you say, yeah. you say, you know, you don't need to take gas canisters yeah, with you or anything like that. A pan, though. A pan, yeah. Put your little pans and stuff on the top. You can get little water heaters that attach to this flue that capitalise on the... Oh, like Dad's drifting off already, bless him. Yeah, yeah. This is how boring this video is, everyone. This is how boring <laughs> this video is. I don't know whether you saw that on the camera, but he's drifting off already. That's how boring unboxing videos are. Ignore him. I'm concentrating. <laughs> <laughs> right, OK. So, yeah, you can actually get water heaters, two, like two, three-litre water heaters. That, you know, like a TN, mm. that fit round here, and then they capitalise on the heat coming up from mm -hmm. here and the heat from here, heat the water, and then you and it, there's a little tap on it, just like a tea urn, mm. yeah. which is quite a nice idea. I haven't, uh, haven't ordered one yet, but uh, I probably will. But I like that. Mm. Mm. When are you thinking I'm going this trip then? Uh, it'll be, because uh, I always take a holiday in March, April time. Uh, it won't be this year. It won't be this year, it'll be next year. I do want to take this out and test it this year, naturally. Mm. And there's a reason why I purposefully bought a steel one, and this is just for you guys, instead of a black stove painted one is because you don't have to do a burn off per se uh, to get any chemical fumes out of the black paint uh, so that's why I kind of went for the steel option rather than go on mum those legs are narrowly apart and those yeah, are wide a apart, bit wider is apart that back? a reason? Oh. I don't know what the reasoning behind that is so they're just to go wider those front legs? No. No. no, that's a fixed position. I think, I'm guessing, it's because this will go more towards the back of the tent. Yeah. Right. Oh, and that so, gives it balance as well for that tall mm. chimney bit. Yeah. It, it does, is. yes. That's yeah. Is. That's what yeah. Oh. yeah. But also as well, it'll be to stop, if you've got wider legs here, when you're walking around in your tent, yeah. Yeah. it'll stop you Catch catching it. them. Yeah. yeah. So it'll be, I, uh, I think you're right, and I hadn't thought of that. Yeah. Balance yeah, at the, the back. Yeah. Yeah. And the reason these are narrow is to stop them being a trip hazard. Yeah. Mm. You know. Um, what what I've also ordered, which will come next sometime next week, is a big silicon mat to go underneath for when mm. it's in your tent, so that if any ashes fall out. Yeah. Yeah. Right. You know, because they bound to as you as you you know as you're yeah. making. You know, when you're giving it a bit of a rake under here at some point. Yeah. Yeah. You're pushing things around. It's to stop you from. It's to stop ashes from burning. Yeah. Into a little tin. Yes, a little. Like an ashtray yeah, type yeah, tin. Something metal underneath. Yeah. To catch anything. Yeah. This is unfortunately, they all, they all, a lot of them have their own benefits. Some have little ash catchers here. Yeah. And this one didn't. Um, but this one was actually lighter than all the others. Yeah. Right. It actually it has these on which I wanted. Yeah. Right. And it uh, it was steel instead of black paint. Yeah, well, with a little bit of thought, you could make an ash catcher. Yeah, mm. probably could. Yeah. Because at the top of them legs. These. Yeah, just down below, the, there's a couple of nuts in there. There's a couple another of other side. Yeah, yeah. No, another side. Well, that's the uh, the um, what do you call lot cotter pins. Oh yeah. To well, pull up the legs. You could make an ash catcher to hang on there, couldn't you? You could, effectively. Yeah. Yeah, something to think about. Yeah. But I, I like that. And it's deep enough. Mm. 
It'll, it'll generate a lot of heat inside the tent. It will. And so it'll keep you warm. The whole idea is, is to mm. make winter camping more accessible. You know, that's why I've kind of got why I've got this. And so, and that's why I've got my other tent, the uh, One Tigris Iron Wall tent, which I showed you in that video this morning, mm. the one that looks a little bit like a, a teepee, a small yeah. teepee. So that's the one that this is for. Ah. However, you know that big canvas one that I've got as well? That doesn't actually have a hole in it for one of these. Uh -huh. mm. However, you could effectively cut a square out and put yeah. a fixed yeah. one in. Yeah. You know. Um, I, the reason I've never thought to do that is because I didn't want to ruin the integrity of yeah. the tent. Yeah. Well, yeah. not only that, the heat of the pipe and the stuff the tent maybe won't be... No, what you do is you create like a silicon. That there's a panel in the in the top of the tent, like a silicon and shield. you put a silicon. You know, like you get cooking stuff made out of silicon. Mm. You put a silicon panel in, so mm. that this can touch the sides and it won't burn yeah, it because it's silicon. Yeah. yeah, that's the. Yeah. Uh, and some people actually don't even put the silicon thing in; they just have it more open. Yeah. You know, yeah. so it goes straight through the panel. And what you can also do, what these stoves are also used for, is. You can put a dog leg, what's called a dog leg in the chimney, a dog leg piece, yeah. and feed the flue out. So say, for example, I, had, I, I could use this at home in my bedroom or kitchen, yeah, say, and feed it out the window. Yeah. And use you know wood to keep my kitchen warm, yeah. effectively. Yeah. People use them in sheds, garages, yeah. all kinds of little places. But these are specifically geared for going camping with. Yeah. Like it? Yeah, yeah. It's a good idea. It's yeah. actually pretty successful for you. I'm sure it will be, and if it won't, I'll make it successful. <laughs> the game to try it out now. <laughs> I am, yeah. We've got this nice little hole ball. It's good quality, that. It's good feel that. It's a good quality yeah. bag. It is. Right, yeah. 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 Which is neat, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Going under and the shoulder stuff with it. Yeah. 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 Quality yeah, I don't think. No. Yes, there is this one here. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there's two pockets. There's one at the other side as well. Is there? I don't I know if there's so. one at this end. Oh, there's, maybe not. There's a pocket there. You can put anything yeah. there's tools and things in here. Yeah. So that can go in there. And then. This is. I've noticed a lot of a lot of these that come have like a, a carry handle on the side or whatever. Yeah. But actually, this is quite handy. Yeah, actually, it's been under the top. Yeah. yeah. I just, as I say, I wanted this bit because I just thought I just think it makes the whole thing a lot more u useful mm. rather than just having a flat surface. Oh, yeah. yeah. You've got, yeah. as I say, things to hang tools on, or even if you say what say say you've cooked your dinner. Yeah. Right, whatever in a pan. You can stick the pan on here and keep it warm without it actually being on the heat yeah. as well. You know, if you're pottering about doing something. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you might get it done and think, oh, damn, I need to get some more wood. You know, because you might be mm. running out. You don't want to run out while you're eating. So at least you can potter off and it'll yeah. keep it warm. That kind of thing, anyway. Mm. Yeah. So if it does what you want it to do with it. Mm. I mean, there's a lot of space in there. Yeah, yeah. there is, aren't there? Little tools That's and the bag it came in, is it? This is the well. This is the carry bag that they it sent with it. it. Yeah. So. Well, you could carry a bit of kindling in there. A bit of kindling, or do you know? I'm even wondering whether I could get the tent in there as well, which would be handy. <laughs> well, you never know. Mm. But you need your tools. What are you cooking tools and things? Pans. Pans might go in there too. Yeah. Pans. But then again, this Is does it? weigh nearly ten kilos. Yeah, that was the other reason I went for this. It was one of the lighter ones. Yeah. Cause some of them weigh about fifteen kilos. Yeah, which, heavy, yeah, yeah. which is heavy. Yeah. You, need, you need a little trolley for them. Yeah. yeah. With all you your gear. Like, with all your gear. Yeah. Well, it's one of those where you don't want to be walking too far with it. Yeah. You know, yeah. so the places that I've been going to, I don't have to walk too far from the car, thankfully. Yeah. Um, Unless you want a little step of wheel. <laughs> yeah, wheels in woodland. Oh no. Don't tend to work very well. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's actually not so bad. Yeah. That's quite manageable. Well, when you yeah. get the shoulder shut down, put it on your shoulder. Yeah. Well, I'll have a rucksack on. Yeah. So we'll have to carry that by hand. But. Uh, well, it won't go in back, it'll just hang on one shoulder, won't it? It might do. Or you can put your strap over and you, so you 
suppose. But well, anyway, you'll find a way of doing find it. Find a way of doing it. Yeah. But yeah, quite. I'm chuffed with that. Good. I like the uh, like the look of that. Mm. So, if you like this video, please give me a, a thumbs up or a thumbs down. If you don't like it, it's up to you. And uh, subscribe to the channel and uh, let me know what you think in the comments and whether you've got one of these and what you think of it. It's actually called. Uh, ooh, what was it called? I'll put a link in the description below and uh, the name of it on the screen here. But it was called the Silver Gem. And as I said, I actually bought this because I didn't, I didn't want one that was black with stove paint on. So, yeah, as I say, thank you for watching.